and action. Should I put my hand on him or not? Is it better if we don't? You build up this shorthand and this sensibility that you share through living alongside one another, going on long journeys together, talking about the cinema you're interested in, and just sharing a kind of palette. It's really cool to see. I feel like that's a relationship that a lot of actors would strive for with a director. I Can go up with the camera. I don't know, no, 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 it's just a thought. I mean, I'm off camera right now. Luca and I are always in a sort of endless conversation about everything, occasionally about making films. We both like to be taken by the surprise of the unexpected and by the joy of life. When Luca started talking to Tilda about taking on the role, she had a far out but intuitively correct idea about removing the ability to speak from Marianne. I'm interested in watching people trying to speak and failing, maybe communicating without words. Marianne has had surgery on her vocal cords, and at the moment she isn't meant to be talking for her doctor's instructions. Come on, tell me you're better. Yes, you are. What? Ah, what, not at all? Drawing on a relationship which you can tell was very communicative, and then reigniting that communication, but with one of you not being able to actually speak back, it was an intriguing thing. It would be reductive to talk about Tilda and say, a great actress. Tilda is a phenomenal filmmaker. It's the kid. Hey! Tilda has worked with Luca before, so there's a strong bond between them, which is enabling all of us, in fact. And action! One way or another, we're just going to grow old together, aren't we? You can tell they're very symbiotic. They move like two cobras, you know. They really understand each other on a deeper level. There's almost a constant dialogue and then also no dialogue between the two of them. They just sort of make it happen. Marianne Lane is a famous singer, possibly burnt out a bit. Paul and Marianne are on that island to find silence, peace. I hate that sound. Hello? <laughs> I found you. Is it you? Yes! I am so happy to see you! There's a friendly meeting of old lovers, seemingly no complications. Meet Marianne and Paul. Oh, you brought a protege. Aha. I'm his daughter. The looks on your faces. Actually, he was a bridge builder between me and Marianne. Hello? Yeah, that's not the stay. Why is that? It's the claustrophobia of the group holiday, particularly with two uninvited guests. Penelope has an interest in pushing people. You're pretty domesticated for a rock star. These four people collide. Have I done anything to upset you? <laughs> Things from the past rise to the surface. When did we last do this? How many years ago? How do you film desire? That was the question I posed to myself. What's the point of porn in your life now? I fall in love with every pretty thing. Do you want some? No, I don't smoke. Doesn't mean you don't want some. Working with these people is phenomenal. Ray Fiennes, Tilda Swinton, Dakota Johnson. That was an exciting bunch. We fighting. We were friends. Better than brothers. There's something quite touching about the relationship between these people. You're obscene. Everyone's obscene. That's the whole point. I don't think I've played anything quite like this before, which is why I wanted to do it. Die Hard originated from the failed script of Commando 2. For this and more movie facts, click on more videos. But if you want something else, uh, click on the playlist.